Hi, I've had a bunch of questions on the fishing forums as far as how I've set up my kayak sub hybrid. So hopefully this video will help someone out on some ideas on how they can set up their sup. Again, this is by no means the best way to do it. It's just how I like it, at least for now. And I'm always upgrading and tweaking. So I'll start here at the front with the bow. It's all stock at this point. I did replace the factory hatch with an aftermarket hatch and sealed it. It's actually now watertight. It's been great to store a couple little items. It's not a big area, but it's enough to store a little bit. And this has been asked about quite a bit. I've actually added the new canoe foot pegs. Uh, these work great. It gives you nice leverage with your feet. Otherwise, I feel like my feet are just kind of flopping around. I will take these off if I'm doing a lot of sight casting for reds. I find that my fly line gets tied up quite a bit. But what's nice is these actually slide back and forth or you can just slide them right off. As far as the chair, it's just kind of your standard Larry chair off Amazon. And then I have that strapped down with Yak Gear straps. My primary box that I use throughout the day is just a single 3700 series Plano. I just like to keep it simple, don't like to carry a lot of gear. Most of what I can carry is just in that. If I am bass fishing, I will carry a couple more boxes, but those go in the back. Another nice little add is the fish grip. These aren't the cheap little you know, $8, $10 Walmart specials. I tried those, lost a couple fish. Uh, the fish grip, they're great. I think they're only like 10, 15 bucks. They're pretty inexpensive. Uh, even bull reds, they'll hold it, it'll pretty much hold everything. I just have it on a little bungee cord. So, so far so good. It's nothing crazy or fancy, but it works well. So then I have my second Yak Gear strap back here. Now going back to my cooler box. I decided to actually go with a Magellan. I know it's not the highest quality box, but what I like about it is it has a single latch to open and to close. This makes things a lot easier instead of dealing with two straps or two latches. And so far, so good. It's a nice dry box. It keeps things, well, dry. <laughs> as far as the rod and reel that I'm using, again, this is dedicated for an inshore setup. When I eat bass fish, I add some more rods with a fish crate. Uh, I have what's called my, oh crap, rod and reel. So that's when things get bad. My normal methods aren't working. It's a Dobbin 735 Champion with a Shimano SLX XT. I mostly use this for small swim baits, Carolina rigs, popping corks. It's kind of when everything else has failed, this is my backup. Fly rod that I'm using now is a Sage combo. It's been working nice. And how I've actually tethered these in has worked really well. These are actually called key back, K-E-Y-B-A-K straps or lanyards. You can get these again on Amazon. And they actually clip on and off. Well, a lot easier if you have two hands. And I don't use these leashes all the time, but if I get in rough water, so it's a nice little backup. And then I modified the one holder to hold the fly rod. I'll probably end up doing a different holder, but it's working pretty good for now. I'll switch over here to the other side. Again, for rods and rails, I'm always switching them in and out, but this is what I like right now. So I'm using a 610 medium light X-Pride on a Shimano Stratix CI4 Plus. That's a 3000 series reel. And then I'm using an X-Pride 66 medium on the 2020 Metanium. Uh, these are kind of my go-to. This is what I use probably 90% of the time for a combo. It's it's a nice combo. I I've been really happy with it. Uh, it's not the highest end. It's kind of a nice mid-range, and it's highly functional. And then, of course, I have my stakeout pole. This is your traditional Bass Pro stakeout pole. Nothing crazy. And then in the back here, I have my dry bag. This is usually my warm clothes or whatever else I need to keep dry. Then in my dry box. This is where I keep my, usually my other 3700 series. And this is for stuff that I don't use as often. I have corkies, top water, whopper ploppers, um, 
bunch of crazy stuff for salt water. And then, of course, the normal wipes, PFD, whistle, kind of the basic stuff. Well, hopefully this has helped out someone, and uh, y'all have a great fishing time. Talk to you later.